Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's going on for you in love, what can you expect in love, what are you um, gonna be dealing with in the near future, and who you might be dealing with, what are the energies between you. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave. For Sagittarius, please, Spirit, regarding the person they are thinking about. This will be for those of you who already have some sort of connection with someone um, or have someone in mind. Please, Spirit, well, how does this person think or feel about Sagittarius at this time? What do we need to know, Spirit? For Sagittarius, what do we need to know? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. All right, for Sagittarius, that is sloppy. For Sagittarius, please. What do we need to know, Spirit, about how this person thinks or feels about Sagittarius? Acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. What else? Can I please keep my cards in my hands, please? Spirit, what else do we need to know about how this person feels about Sagittarius? Freedom. So that one did when it come out. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Acceptance and freedom. What else? What else for Sagittarius, please? Indecision. Interesting. So there's acceptance, but also indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So your person, I feel that... Either your person wants to free themselves from something or or they're thinking about it's almost like they're wanting to be free enough to make a decision. A decision that um, I feel has to do with you. Hold on, guys. I gotta take this toy away because it's way too noisy. No, sir. You are way too noisy with this one. I don't want you guys to be distracted in the background more than you usually are. So, but, but with this acceptance card, I feel like... Maybe your person has been hesitating or resisting making a choice. Maybe they've been procrastinating and calling it indecision. Um, and I think it has to do because in their mind, they weren't free of something. So let's see if I'm picking that up. What else can you tell me, Spare? What would this person say to Sagittarius right now if they could? This is my homemade little oracle deck here. What would this person say to Sagittarius if they could? What this person tell Sagittarius if they could at this time? Have faith and listen. Have faith. Listen. So communication possibly needs to take place here, some sort of conversation. I feel alone at the bottom of the deck. See, this is why I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this decision has to do with you. This wanting to communicate, needing to communicate, this person can 
probably needs to listen to their intuition because to make a decision because I have here, I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Basically, I use my intuition and it helps me make a decision. So I feel like the fact that there's listen here, your person needs to listen to their intuition or their intuition is speaking to them at this time. And I feel like it's working on your person. Let's see, what other messages can I get here, Spirit? What happened in this connection between Sagittarius and this person? What happened here? What happened in this connection? What do I need to know about this connection? What happened here? For all the other signs, I had some of these decks, Oracle decks, like with reversals, but I put them all up right again because I feel like the messages are pretty clear already. And um, I'm good with just the tarot being reversed. So if you watch other signs and you don't get any reversals in this reading, it's because I changed the Oracle cards. Anyways, what else do I need to know, Spirit? Love yourself first. I keep getting this card like love yourself first or you deserve love um, for a lot of the signs that I'm doing. Love you, okay. Love yourself first. What else? What else can you tell me about this connection? What I'm getting from that is that this connection, what there was an imbalance here, or this person didn't treat you how you deserve to be treated, sag treated Sagittarius, and you still kind of allowed them in your life. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. I just heard in my head, um, I heard honeymoon is over when I pulled that card. It's almost like you guys had a really good connection at first. Let your friends help you. And then I got another one. I was only going to pick three, but express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Maybe your person needs to express the, how they feel towards you. And this is part of their decision. Regardless, there's something there's something that needs to be said because I have listen here. Bottom of the deck, getting to know each other. It's almost like there's something you don't know. That this person like hasn't told you. Let's get into this. So for today's spreads, I'm gonna be um pulling some cards about how this person truly thinks or feels about you and their true intentions. Spirit, tell me how this person thinks or feels about Sagittarius. What do I need to know? Using the Lightseer's Tarot today. What do I need to know for Sagittarius? This person's true intentions and or feelings about Sagittarius. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Okay, let's start with how they think or feel about you. Get a little more insight with the tarot. How does this person think or feel about Sagittarius or this connection spirit? How does this person think or feel about Sagittarius or this connection? Let your friends help you. I don't know why I keep looking at that card. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking of the Three of Cups, which is kind of weird. Because let your friends help you is more like, you know, a support system, um, having your friends help you get through difficult times, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm thinking of the Three of Cups, like too many people here. There's four people in this, no, one, two, three, four, five people in this card. Let's get into this. There's true thoughts or feelings about Sagittarius or this connection. Hierophant reversed. Taurus energy here. What else? What else can you tell me? We got Justice. Ooh, all major arcana. And Death. Scorpio energy, Libra energy. And these came out kind of in limbo. So I'm just going to put them like this. Come on, kind of in limbo. It's almost like there's something here that isn't quite fair to you. And that I picked that up with love yourself first. There's some sort of imbalance here. 
there could even be, um, you know, a relationship here, a connection that is over or is broken and someone doesn't want it to be over, but at the same time, it's imbalanced. It could be that someone's trying to rebalance this. I'll double check that um, when I clarify. This is what I see so far. Someone could be like debating whether something should end or not with death kind of in limbo there. I don't know what to do with my cards. <laughs> Can you tell? Okay. What are their true intentions towards Sagittarius? What are their true intentions towards Sagittarius spirit? What do we need to know? What are their true intentions? Six of Swords. What are their true intentions towards Sagittarius? See, this, this to me is that freedom card. Knight of Pentacles reversed. I don't think that, uh, I mean, there's um very, very long, like a serious delay here in an offer. I feel like their intention is to eventually <clears throat> bring you something worthwhile. But they have to get through a bunch of hurdles first. What else do I need to know? For Sagittarius, what else do I need to know? The full reverse. So in their mind, this is a big risk. This could be reckless. It could be that they are being naive here or unable to begin something new with you, even though this is their goal is to, again, I feel the sense of being free of something in order to have a new beginning. It's like your person knows something with acceptance, something that their intuition has been telling them. They've been listening to their intuition, which is guiding them to free themselves of something. And there's an indecision about this. It's almost like they, with the half faith card, it's almost like they don't have faith that this could work out for them. When it comes to you, is, is that's what I'm picking up here. So let's, let's get into this spirit. Help me clarify. Help me clarify for Sagittarius. Show me what I need to see here. For Sagittarius, please. Let's start with this higher form reverse. What is this? Card of a marriage commitment, but it's reverse, which tells me there's been possibly a broken commitment here or a commitment that has just ended, period. Why is the Hierophant? And it could have been a divorce because I have the Justice card here that came out in Limbo. What is the Hierophant reversed about? The Moon. The Moon. Pisces energy. You have all major arcanas in your person's thoughts and or feelings, which tells me like they are seriously going through major energy, energy shifts in the way they're thinking. Tell me more about the higher font reverse. Okay. Tell me about the higher font reverse, please. Ten of Cups reverse. I feel like this was a marriage or a long term commitment, possibly with children, some sort of family unit. Um, something was an illusion, a secret, something was hidden, um, confusing. Here, I don't know if this was a commitment between you and this person, Sagittarius, or if your person is in a commitment um, or was, uh, because these two cards here, Ten of Cups reversed, Higher Farm reversed. To me, this is a fractured family unit or a broken marriage. And of course, this spread could be all about you, Sagittarius, or you could flip it and it's, um, I'm sorry. This spread is meant to be about your person, but you can flip it. It could be you as well. Something here with the moon is just off. Something was off about this connection. Um, this could be something that was hidden from you, possibly. Um, this person could have been in a commitment and that was hidden from you, or um, this person was hiding something regarding a commitment and it didn't work out in their favor here. I have the Ten of Cups reverse, which is like extreme disappointment. So what is justice about? 
What is justice doing here? This is about spirit. King of Swords. The truth has been spoken. <laughs> Again, King of Swords. This acceptance card, this listen, listen card. The King of Swords knows. There's nothing that, that gets past the King of Swords. He's very intelligent, astute, you know, very perceptive person. Um, he smells BS from like a mile away. That's who this King of Swords is. So I feel like someone here has been tr like knows something. Either they know something has not been fair or they know the truth about something. It could also be that your person came into this King of Swords energy to cut off a relationship because I have um, Libra here, which is not Libra, Justice card, which is legal matters. And then I have the Hierophant. So they could have been the one to initiate a divorce, for example. Tell me about Justice, please. We get one more for justice. Wow, two of cups. Bottom of the deck, ace of swords reverse. What? What is happening here? Definitely have the two of cups with the king of swords and justice. Okay, hold on. Can I get one more? <laughs> Can I get one more spirit to clarify this justice card? Show me what I need to see for Sagittarius. Six of Cups reversed. Wow. Five of Swords reversed. Someone's not over what happened in the past. This, this King of Swords probably realizes the mess they are in. And I feel like they initiated either a rebalancing of their life or initiated a separation because they are thinking about a partnership from the past. Do you see this? Something that didn't end very well. And it's like, that's probably why they're still thinking about it. Yeah, they have not been able to let go of this. And look at how the Ace of Cups right after that. They could have let go of you in the past and are regretting it as well. Because they're, I mean, it's like this, they know this. This is something that they are aware of. And I think it's, it's caused them to act here, to be free. This, I think it's going to be a very specific type of message. I don't think this is going to resonate with everyone watching, but this is the message. Tell me about death. Scorpio energy here with death. Same cards. The same cards at the bottom of the deck all came out. I really feel like someone is not over this. Whatever ending happened, either they're not over an ending or they don't want it to end. And it's because it's still on their mind. They're still in some way holding on to this and wanting to overcome whatever happened here. Let me see if I can get one more. Get one more for the death card, please. Queen of Swords reverse. There might have been words exchanged here. Yeah, a deception possibly too. Yeah, and there's that freedom card at the bottom. Eight of Swords reversed. It's like someone has just been thinking and thinking about how much they screwed up. They possibly lied to you, were deceptive, um, and it blew up in their face. This Five of Swords of Reverse Energy, they don't win against you. They, it's a lose-lose situation. They try to win-win, but they lose-lose. So let's look at this person's intentions. What's the Six of Swords about? Let's see if I can... What is the Six of Swords about? I feel like my cards are all kind of all over the place, so sorry about that. Hold on. What is this Six of Swords about? Queen of Cups. Yeah, see, it's like someone's going towards the person they love. Can I get one more for the Six of Swords? You know, Six of Swords is all about 
leaving a difficult situation, heading towards something more stable, more balanced. Tell me more about the Six of, of Swords. There's that indecision card, Two of Pentacles. They're deciding whether they should head towards their Queen of Cups is what I'm thinking here. Weighing the pros and cons, unsure. J they might be juggling a lot right now as well. Yeah, there's an imbalance here. I'm telling you, Six of Pentacles reverse. With Justice, with the Six of Pentacles, reverse that um, love yourself first card. And I remember when I first saw it, I was thinking, maybe you put in more of something here. You never got what you deserved from this person and you need to love yourself first. that's what that card's about love yourself first so that you are able to be in a relationship that's worthy of you so i feel like your person here i mean it's almost like they're trying to to figure out if they can be successful if they're able if they're going to be able to rebalance something you know i feel like they want to fight for for something that they believe in here um, they're willing to make an effort here with the Seven of Wands, have courage, but there's something, you know, there's something here that your person is trying to work on. It could be that Justice card. You know, whatever that balance is going on here, legal, whatever situation is going on here. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Why is it reverse? Oof, King of Cups reverse. So we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups reverse, and then have a King of Swords upright and a Queen of Swords reverse. So two suits, um, the pair in each suit, King and Queen, one's reverse, one's upright, which tells me they're not seeing eye to eye, and there's a disconnect. Your person also, um, they might be either um, lacking emotional maturity or off balance emotionally. This could be also something to do with the imbalance in them the six of pentacles reverse tell me about the knight of pentacles reverse eight of swords reverse again that freedom card it's like they have to be free of something in order to make you an offer and this this getting free yeah i have the ooh, another another king i see more multiple people here there's multiple people here if it's not multiple people that you're dealing with, then is your person exhibiting this, these energies? Not only are they a king of swords, but they're also king of wands, king of cups reversed. They could even be this queen of cups. Or this queen of swords reverse. This three of wands reverse with the king of wands reverse tells me that your person, if they don't free themselves from something, they're going to miss an opportunity. If they don't get out of their head here, they're going to miss an opportunity. And that's probably why the Fool is reversed. Because their intentions is almost like, even if their intention is a new beginning, even if their intention is to rebalance the situation, even if their intention is to make an offer, all of these cards are reversed. Which means there's some sort of delay or something that needs to happen before these can be upright again. Tell me about the Fool reverse. Why is the Fool reverse? Four of Cups. Why is the Four reverse? Yeah, this is this is going to be a missed opportunity if your person doesn't get themselves right. Because the Four of Cups is like they can't even see what's in front of them. That's why it's so important for your person to listen to their intuition, to whatever spirit is trying to tell them. There's that communication with the Page of Swords. Either you are observing each other or your person wants to communicate with you. It's almost like this is part of the risk too, is communicating with you. Like, will, will they answer? Will they respond? Will I be able to overcome and heal the connection, the, just the conflict that we had? Oof. And then judgment. Definitely like will I have a second chance? I mean, they clearly want a second chance because I see them trying to make something happen. I see love here. 